Welcome student. In this session we will learn how to prove Pythagorean theorem. Now we are aware that Pythagorean theorem is used in right triangle. So let's first of all look at right triangle. It is basically a triangle having one of its angles as 90 degree. For example, in this triangle ABC, angle A is right angle, so we can say that triangle ABC is a right triangle. Now let's look at one of the important term of right triangle, that is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is basically the longest side of right triangle. Or you can say that it is the opposite side to right angle. For example, in this triangle PQR, which is right angle at Q, PR is the hypotenuse. Because this is the side opposite to the right angle. And also it is the longest side of this right angle triangle. Now before proving Pythagorean theorem, let's look at the definition of Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem states that in a right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse, that is the longest side, is equals to the sum of the square of other two sides. For example, in triangle ABC, which is a right triangle at angle A, AC is the hypotenuse while AB and BC are the remaining two sides. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Now in the figure, it is known that AB equals to A, BC equals to B, and AC equals to C. So we can write down this in another way as A square plus B square is equal to C square. Now let's prove this Pythagorean theorem by using similar triangles. For this, let's consider triangle ABC, which is right angled at B. Now in this triangle, we need to prove that square of the longest side, which is AC, should be equal to sum of square of other two sides, that is AB square plus BC square. Now first of all, we will draw a line BD perpendicular to AC. And now considering the triangles ADB and ABC. We find that in these two triangles, angle A is equal to angle A. Also, angle ADB is equal to angle ABC because both has the measure equals to 90 degree. So we can say that triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. Now after proving triangle ADB and ABC similar, we know that sides AD over AB is equals to AB over AC. From here we can say that AB square equals to AD times AC by doing cross multiplication. Similarly, we know that triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So that means CD over BC is equals to BC over AC. Again, by cross multiplying we reach BC square equals to CD times AC. Now let's start with AB square plus BC square. Now we know that AB square equals to AD times AC and BC square equals to CD times AC, which we have already proved. So now simply plug in AB square equals to AD times AC 
and BC square equals to CD times AC in AB square plus BC square. We get AD times AC plus CD times AC. Now taking out AC common we get AC times AD plus CD. Now we know that AD plus CD will simply give AC. So AC times AC will give us AC square which we require. So this is the proof of Pythagorean theorem. That is AB square plus BC square equals to AC square. Now let's look at some other way to prove this Pythagorean theorem. For this, let's consider four right angle triangles with different colors, whose height is B and base length is A. First of all, take this yellow right angle triangle over here. And then take the second right angle triangle and turn this by 90 degree. And take it on the top of yellow right angle triangle. Now take the green right angle triangle and turn this by 180 degree. Similarly, take this blue right angle triangle, turn this by 90 degree and take it over here. So now you can see a square will be formed. There are two ways to find the area of this square. First is, we add the area of four triangles and the area of square with side C. Now, area of four triangles is simply four times half times A times B. An area of a square with side C is simply C times C. So that will give us 2 times A times B plus C square. Now next is to find the area of a square with each side A plus B as A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. Now simply from both these ways we get that 2 times A times B plus C square is simply equals to A square plus B square plus 2AB. Or we can say that C square is equals to A square plus B square. This is what we want for the Pythagorean theorem. That is square of hypotenuse is simply equals to sum of square of sides of right angle triangle. With this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have understood the proof of Pythagorean theorem. Goodbye and have a nice time.